up you guys it's your girl AP welcome back to my channel today I have an exciting video for you guys this hair went viral from a UK hairstylist um, a few months back she did this pretty beautiful purple I think it was like purple bluish so icy color with like these nice glitter strands of hair ventilated into the lace and it was flawless it went viral after doing my research watching a couple videos I decided that I want to take it upon myself and try a cheap alternative because I can't afford her wigs love her maybe one day I'll be able to but I'll have all the information in the description if you guys want to check it out if you got the coin so this is a cheap version of that wig I did it by myself I've never ventilated a wig in my life it was actually much easier than I thought I'll have everything that I got from Amazon in the description as well I kind of did it with a twist. I ventilated it almost like crochet because I'm so used to doing crochet styles on my channel. It's something I'm good at. It's easy. It's like second nature at this point. So I kind of like crocheted it through. You guys will see in a little bit, but it's not the perfect ventilation, you know, where the knots are real small and discreet. I'll show you guys a close up of the lace. You can see the knots on the top but it's still discreet enough you can still see my part here so it's not like it looks bulky and outrageous I think it looks fine for my first time and never doing this before I think it came out really good you guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think I'm being extra I have you know hoop glitter earrings I got my glitter nails on I'm just doing the most I'm so excited about how this came out like I feel like it came out really good like oh my god my first time it's purple purple is my favorite color or one of my favorite colors and I'm just like it's lit oh my god oh my god so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I achieved this I'll give you all the deets on the hair how much my thoughts and all that good stuff make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and let's get into it so like I said all the links will be in the description below I got all this stuff from Amazon this wig is a 14 inch wig it came purple already so it's not a 613 wig that I had to color or anything I got it just like this um what i will say about the wig it was 140 dollars which is like and eh, it's good it's reasonable price however the density is kind of like not all that great to me it's a little bit thin but it's still not like let me turn around you know how some 613 wigs you can see the tracks in the back it's not given that it's very much full but I could just, I would just like a little bit of fullness for 140. You know what I'm saying? For a 14 inch wig, I don't even think it's true to size, to be honest. You guys let me know. Maybe I just haven't had a 14 inch wig in a while, but this is very much giving 12. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments below what you think. Is this true to size? Density wise, I don't remember what they said the density is. I'm just going to assume the standard 150. Um, so for that, it's a good price the quality is amazing I'll give them that the quality is absolutely phenomenal the hair is so soft like I was actually shocked at how soft it is takes heat well straightens well bouncy all that good like stiff wear okay <laughs> also I got the ventilating needle and the tensile from Amazon and those were eight dollars each so all together for this whole entire look is about one 60 and I think that is a steal especially because you know it's good quality it's easy to do it's like a knockoff of that HD lace that the girl sells on her website and like I said I'll have the information because I don't want to botch her name I think it's like Chia V here if I'm saying that correctly but her information will be in the description again because you know I don't want no problems I'm giving credit where credit is due the two people who I seen do this was that girl Alfred some other girl I remember her name and um drag girlies like the drag queens been doing this from my understanding I looked back at some old like 2018 2017 2016 like they've been doing the glitter in their lace wigs so I'm giving everyone that credit I don't want no problems I just saw something on the internet I wanted to create it I am not the originator let's put that out there it's just something I wanted to try because I thought it looked really good so I hope you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned if you want to see exactly how I ventilated it it was 
was actually much easier than I thought, like I said. I hope you guys recreate it. If you do recreate it, I'd love to see. Tag me in your pictures. Or let me see if you guys get the hair, if you like it, from Amazon The Purple Wig. They have an array of colors. So if you want to ventilate some glitter or some tinsel in a different color other than purple, that's absolutely an option. They have late blue, light purple, lime green, mint green, black, orange, pink, red, yellow gray they got all kinds of colors so if you're interested in doing a different color there's definitely room for that i definitely think i want to try doing a red or orange maybe maybe not orange i probably wouldn't look right but maybe like a green or a something different i think maybe red is probably the safest for me at this point i think i'm gonna try that next let me know what you guys think in the comments below but like i said again if you want to know exactly how i achieve the ventilation of this tinsel Stay tuned and let's get into it. So this is the wig fresh out of its packaging straight from Amazon. It looks really good, nice and fluffy. Also, this is how the wig is constructed. I really loved this lace. Usually laces are too thick or too dark for my complexion, but this one was perfect. This is the ventilating needle. Just showing you guys a close up, this gold ventilating needle. It comes with four different needles. I do not know the difference. I ended up using the one to one. Don't know what it means. It worked, so whatever. This is the tinsel up close. It came with the crochet needle. I don't know what you would use that for or how you would use it, but it was definitely too thick for the lace and you'll see that a little bit later when I'm starting to insulate the sparkly tinsel on the lace of the wig so just showing you guys a close-up of this tinsel it is really long I want to say about 20 inches I was surprised by how long it is so I ended up folding it over and having to cut it showing you guys a close-up of the ends and how thick they are but let's get into showing you guys exactly how I did this. So before you get into tinsulating, ventilating, all that good stuff, you want to make sure that your wig is situated. You want your hair to be sleek and straight because once you put that tinsel on, you will not be able to heat it or flat iron it again as well as you can do it before the tinsel and I say that because with the tinsel it's plastic you don't know if it's gonna melt I did play around with it and sneak some heat but for the most part I wouldn't try it also you want to make sure your part is wide enough and to your satisfaction because that is where you will be adding the tinsel so you want to make it a little bit more wide than you usually would just because you're gonna line it up on each side with that tinsel so this is what I was talking about earlier. This is me trying to skip the ventilation and just completely using the crochet mini needle that they sent with the tinsel. It was an absolute fail. Um, I tried my hardest to not use the ventilating needle only because I was a little bit intimidated by it, but trust me, it is not that hard. It is easy to do and that crochet needle is impossible. If y'all figure out how to do it, let me know in the comments below. But it was a fail. So like I said, I used the one-to-one -one needle. It was very easy to put in. It worked for me perfectly when I was ventilating this wig. Um, it took me a few tries to get the ventilation down packed. And like I said, it is easy to do. You just have to take your time and try it a couple times, get the hang of it. So I'm not gonna talk too much in this part. You just watch and see what I'm doing. You use the needle, you put it through the lace, and then once your tinsel is attached on, you slide it over, you put it at an angle almost, and then pull it through. You have to make sure that the tinsel is on with a lot of pressure. If the tinsel is slack, it's not gonna go through the lace. So just make sure you have pressure and it goes through. You're gonna see me trying to do this method that I saw on the internet of getting it back through the hole once the tinsel is through. I don't know if that makes sense. Like a crochet, the loop is gonna go through and then you'll have your end. I decided not to do that fancy knot that they do. I just took my fingers, grabbed the loose part, put it through like you're crocheting and tighten it at the top. Very simple, very easy. If you want more security, then you can also knot it. Literally, just like a shoelace, just knot it. It's discreet, it's not gonna look crazy, trust me. So just watch, see what I'm doing, and once you try, trust me, it is easy to get the hang of. 